Hi, welcome back to Chem with Go. Tonight we're going to take a look at uh, one type of organic structure, and it's called an aldehyde. So this functional group has a generic form, just like this. Now note that this inside right here is a carbon, and that carbon has to have, or has to be an end carbon. And what I mean by an end carbon, it is at the end of the carbon chain. So, for example, let's take a look at this. One, two, three, four. A double bonded O and the hydrogen right here. Now, since aldehydes are always going to be at the end, or these functional groups are always going to be at the end of the carbon chain, this carbon happens to be carbon number one. And if there are any other sort of functional groups or attachments further down the chain right here, we name this according, we start the carbons, uh, the numbering of the carbons at the aldehyde functional group. So let's just say, come up with the name of this structure. Since there are four carbons right here, this will be butanol. And notice that the ending is an AL, much like the alcohol would be an OL ending, butanol since it's an aldehyde, will have an AL ending. Let's take a look at another um, uh, aldehyde structure. So let's come up with this one. Double bonded O, and then a hydrogen right here. So let's just count the carbon, since this is carbon number one. And why don't we go ahead and put an attachment, or a, a halide over here, chlorine. So that's carbon number one, so that's two right here, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, so the root name of this, since it's seven, it would be heptanel. And we do have a halide right here on carbon number three. So this would be three chloro heptanel. And that would be the name of that structure. All right, and that's it for tonight. Um, check your uh, worksheets, and uh, anytime that you see the AL ending, that means that you have an aldehyde. And remember that the aldehyde uh, carbon will always be carbon number one in the chain. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon.